Hey, John here. Let's talk about symbol libraries today. So we finished our breadboard power supply project. I'm just sitting here at GitHub right now. So if you go to GitHub and you search for DigiKey, KeyCAD, and you search all of GitHub, not just this repo, but all of GitHub, you find out there's a library right here. If you go down here and clone it with SSH, okay, there's the key. There's the site, okay. I made a new directory in my area from earlier ones you might have seen in other videos. I have a project's GitHub directory, and in here will be my GitHub projects that I create that I'm going to share with other people. And uh, also things that I might grab off of GitHub, like this library. So looking ahead, I'm going to create a place to put libraries. So I'm going to make a directory for libraries, and I'm going to say git clone the uh, digikey library from github that's basically all you need to do to install it just clone it so here's our last project let's make a new one and play around with this new library so in my github directory i'm going to make a 2045 let's just call it test project we're going to just throw stuff down and this is highlighted so it'll make a new directory for it in the github directory let's open up a schematic we don't really care about the size of the paper or anything let's just mess around with the new libraries so we've installed it on my laptop and now we need to tell keycat about it so if you go to preferences manage symbol libraries you say browse libraries library digikey library okay now i'm installing the symbol library right now so i'm going to double click this and i'm going to hit Control a on every one of these library files and i'm going to hit open and you can see a whole bunch of dk underscore libraries just showed up okay hit okay now that'll give me this symbol libraries to get the footprints that go along with them open up the footprint editor right here click preferences over there now we're managing the footprint libraries instead of the symbol libraries and same kind of a thing hit browse libraries and here's the new live directory and there's the digikey directory open this thing up click on footprints dot pretty this time and just hit ok right there this one will just put one single line down here and hit ok you've now told keycad about the digikey libraries and the digikey footprints so now when you place a part down here let's say for example I want to add a D sub connector if I can spell D sub I can see I now have two digikey parts that are D sub parts if you look in this window down here there's some extra fields in this description. It includes a link to the data sheet, which if it works, it's really handy. We saw earlier some links that sometimes they don't work. I mean, you know, companies change their websites and their URLs change. I would think that if they host data sheets, they would probably be more sensitive to that and not move them around every five minutes. But, you know, you get what you pay for. Anyway, so it's nice that these things work. They'll probably keep them up to date for us. Uh, this is obviously, what, a female one? A uh, plug and a receptacle. Okay, this would be the male one. And the female. So let's put a male D sub connector down here. Well, heck, we'll put also put a female one down. D sub. All right. And we don't really need to draw a schematic. I'll hit escape just to have those two parts down there. Let's go ahead and just annotate this thing. Take the defaults. So now they're J1 and J2. If I hover over J1 and I hit E, you'll notice there's a lot more fields in there than there was in our last project. From the data, uh, from the da uh, DigiKey library, they fill in a lot of stuff, including the DigiKey part number, which I was adding by hand in the last project. Of course, they name it a little differently than I did. So by convention uh, they're following a little different than, than, than I did so your your uh, field names will be a little different I mean we can get over that the footprints 
are already assigned in the DigiKey library. That's just the, if you read their GitHub uh, readme file for their library, they talk about this. It makes it handy so you don't have to look them all up like we did in the last project. So this is obviously a DB9 right angle through whole part. The numbers go 1 through 5, 6 through 9 for this gender. Cancel out of that. The other gender, you'll notice footprint go the other way, 1 through 5, 6 through 9, and so on. All right, so this, it all makes sense. It all jives. Let's cancel out of here. Hit save. Let's make a net list. Go ahead and save the default there. Close out of here. Let's open up the PC board. Import the net list. Read the net list. Check it for errors. You know, there's just two footprints on there. No big deal. Close it. Here they are. Move them around. Do whatever you want. And there you go. You've got your footprints. You got everything from and, and with DigiKey part numbers and everything. Let's see if they got 3D models in there. If you had all three, no, they don't. But you know, <laughs> it sure is nice having those footprints uh, with the uh, with the uh, parts and everything. Hit Control Q to get out of there. I'll go ahead and save this, and then hit Control Q out of here. Go back to the schematic. So that's all it takes to install the DigiKey library. And in there you've got uh, LEDs and all kinds of other things as well. And again, they have all this stuff pre-filled out, including the DigiKey part numbers, so that when you uh, um, get around to wanting to build this thing, you can actually use the, the bill of materials. We can talk about that later. That's a whole video in itself. Let's go ahead and do the uh, symbol fields editor here. This is easier to see on the screen. Uh, it tells you what the footprint file name is and all the other fun stuff with the data sheet, category connectors, yada, yada, yada. Where is it? Here we go. Your DigiKey part numbers and stuff all out of here, just like uh, we did last time. Plus a little extra with data sheets and manufacturer names and stuff like that. That's all it takes to put the DigiKey libraries into your projects. From now on, I installed them in the global uh, for all projects. You'll notice when, when, when we open this up, by the way, you see it says global libraries or project specific libraries. I was in the global libraries area. That means that all future projects, this library is going to be available to me. I don't have to keep reinstalling it or anything like that. So there's your DigiKey library. There's a whole lot of footprints and a whole lot of symbols that you don't have to make yourself. But Sometimes you do anyway. So next time what we'll do is we'll start making some custom symbols. I'll see you later. If this was useful, let me know. Thanks. Bye.